to the most I teach her, you know, that however successful I turn out to be as an artist, as a recording artist, you know, however successful my music turns out to be, um, there's no one else I can give all the praise and thanks to. And um, I believe you are privy to it. Once Twice came out, it was released as a single in 2005, and, you know, as a single, it did all the raves it could do, not only in Ghana, but outside Ghana too, you know. I've been around with so many girls, what's the light and what's up there? When I think I'm busy, the way I'm feeling now, the way I'm feeling, yeah, ever since we started now, my heart's been turning around, and all that's my mind is filled with only you. So doing this this track that I'm playing now, um, it is just fulfilling the promise I made to myself and to the most high to Jehovah, you know, that you know when, when I become successful I, I can I can look nowhere else. So that's my main reason behind recording this track. Uh, my, the main motive for, for, for starting off with this promotion, this this particular track Jehovah, is just giving thanks and praise to and recognizing, you know, what, what he did for me doing, you know the time of the period of one to one strikes and and now yeah so that's the main reason you know behind this 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 track This tune was was it was written in um, 2007. I think it was um, 17 July. If 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 my mind serves me right. I sat down then, July 17th, and I was looking more more or less looking back, reflecting, you know, on on. On, on what's what's gone down since you know releasing that single and I said hey I it seems I'm, I'm reneging a bit on the promise I made to Ja you know so I said look let me let me let me um, go back you understand and and actually do what I set out to do initially so I wrote that tune then you know that's when I started like I put pen to paper and I wrote this tune Jehovah that's when I started like writing it actually the the interesting thing is I, I I did it with two different you know producers I I started off with one producer I cannot say his name because of you know obvious reasons and um, later moved on to another producer you know so it was actually done you know the, the tune was actually done by two two producers two different producers and um, in terms of content I believe if you listen to I have two verses on there two major verses on there if you listen to it it basically um, talks about you know Jehovah Tears and never let me cry. What I'm you do is your blessings 
it is the prelude more or less to an album you know coming up um, the album is ebony it has 17 tracks on you know on there and jehovah is one of the tracks on there but like i said i deem it wise and i deem it like essential to 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 start off you know with with this track you know to give thanks to god I've done tracks with several people out there. I have a track with Kwao Kese. That is the video and audio we'll be promoting after this, you know, Jehovah track. So, yeah, moving gradually and steadily. It is, you know, the, the, the prelude to the full album, 17, you know, track album, My Bunny. You asked, you know, why do a track with Kwao? Yes, I am, you know, a reggae artist, I'm a dancehall, you know, artist, Afro pop, you know, musician, because I blend, you know, my African rhythms with with what like with world music. So more or less I believe I'm open to any kind of music. Me being a boy, I have a certain like circle I roll, I roll within. You understand? It's primarily within, you know, um, what do you call it? Like people mostly in Greater Accra region, you know, or outside Ghana. You understand? But I, I deem it fit like to break into, you know, the other regions. I want people in Kuma, Kumasi to be able to identify with me more people in the Western, you know, Central regions. I don't want to be seen as the upper class, you know, musician, you know, you know, all the time. So I believe these interactions with people like Kwaukes would also let me break into like those markets too. Yeah. This album is definitely, you know, a masterpiece. You have to listen to it, you know, to judge for yourself. You know, it's one one of the finest works, you know, to ever come out of this country. You understand? And and trust me, so much work, you know, has, has gone into it. So much, you know, like hard stuff, you know, has gone into it. You have to watch out for that single, you know, have with Kwao Kese, which you'll be promoting, you know, after this. You have to watch out for that track, me and Tic Tac, you know. It's, it's crazy, you know, with the other acts on it. So many of them, you know, 17 tracks, Ebony from your man, like Ebo, you have to watch out for that one. But let me just say big ups to everyone who's been supporting me since 2005, when I first did it, you know, um, presenters down here, radio presenters, TV personalities like you, John, you know, who supported me up to this level. Let me say big ups to my people inside the University of Ghana, big ups to my people inside Ghana Telecom University College, you know, folks inside the IT class. Hey, much love and respect to all of you, you know. What can I say? Naga!
nada, nada, nada. 